Good day students! Our discussion for today is about the system unit. System unit is the main part of a computer, alternatively referred to as a box, computer chassis, or computer tower. It contains the eternal components such as hard drive, power supply, CD-ROM, including the motherboard where the RAM, CPU, CMOS battery are connected. CPU serves as the enclosure for all the main internal components of a computer. When we say computer case, it is the outer shell of a computer, typically made of plastic, steel, and aluminum, and are available in a variety of styles. Computer case used to protect the computer components from being damaged and the user from being electrocuted. Again, the computer case is also known as a tower, box, system unit, base unit, enclosure, housing, chassis, and cabinet. Now, let's move on with the power supply. Power supply is an electrical component that supplies power to a computer, where the power is in the form of electricity. Sometimes it is called PSU which is short for Power Supply Unit. Then the motherboard. It is the printed circuit board that serves as the foundation of a computer where the CPU, ROM, Expansion slots, heat sink, fan assembly, bias strip, and chipset are connected. The motherboard is very important to the computer. It supports the computer's main computing ability. Now let's move on with the adapter card. It is also known as expansion card. It is a printed circuit board used to expand the capability of a computer. There are four main types of adapter cards. There are four main types of adapter cards. One, video adapter. Two, multimedia adapter. Three, NIC adapter. And four, modem adapter. Let us define them one by one. Again, the video adapter. It is responsible for visual display on computer screen and projector. And the multimedia adapter or the sound card supports the audio signal usually in playing song and video. The NIC adapter is used to connect the computer to a network, such as a home network, or the internet using an Ethernet cable with an RJ45 connector. The modem adapter is an expansion card that allows a computer to send and receive data through telephone or cable lines. Now let's move on with the BIOS. It stands for Basic Input-Output System. It is the most important part of a computer. It is a software program on a computer that manages the operating system and devices connected to a computer such as the hard disk, mouse, keyboard, monitor, and even printer. If any devices are not connected on a computer, it will lead to malfunction. That is why the BIOS needs to set up to make the computer function. BIOS is required to set the system clock, enabling and disabling certain system components, hardware configuration, selecting boot drives, and set password prompts. Then the CPU, which stands for Central Processing Unit, which used to control information and makes the computer work. 
it is defined as the brain of the computer. A computer CPU handles all the instructions it receives from hardware and software running on the computer. Now, the CPU fan. The CPU fan or cooler is an electronic component inside the system unit that is used to help the CPU regulate the temperature and efficiency of the system. And when we say memory, it is any hardware device inside the system unit used to store information temporarily or permanently. There are two types of memory, the primary and secondary memory. Primary memory, computer systems instructions are commonly stored in this memory. This is the drive C in your computer. RAM is an example of a primary memory. Now, the RAM or random access memory. Alternatively referred to as a main memory, primary memory or system memory. ROM is a data storage that allows information to be stored and retrieved on a computer temporarily because of being volatile. That's why when a computer powers off, the information that is stored in ROM will be automatically deleted. There are two main types of ROM. These are this prompt or the static random access memory and the drum, which means dynamic random access memory. ROM is an example of a secondary memory. ROM or read-only memory is a storage fixed on the motherboard that is used in a computer. It contains basic instructions that can be accessed by the computer directly. Unlike the ROM, the data in ROM will remain even if the computer power is turned off. There are three types of ROM. The first one is the PROM, which stands for Programmable Read-Only Memory, and a PROM, which means Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory. And the last one is the E8 PROM, which means electrically erasable, programmable, with only memory. That ends our discussion about the system unit. I hope you learned something new today. Get ready for your activity. Happy learning! Bye!